So, Brian, tell me a little bit about your background. What, what brought you to Cisco? So I'll tell you the super short version of the story is yeah. I, I've grown up in technology all my life in Northern California near Silicon Valley, and I'm a lawyer by training. I'd done some te technology roles before going to law school, but I grew up in big technology companies like Intel and HP, mm -hmm. mostly doing purpose-driven roles. I spent about five years as a chief diversity officer, a couple of years as a chief sustainability officer, some time as a head of a foundation, and I decided after 22 years with that last tech company, I needed to take a break. I was going to take a bit of a sabbatical. And that lasted only a few weeks because Cisco came calling with this amazing opportunity yeah. to build a social impact program. That's great. And you're the first social impact officer for Cisco. Right? First chief social impact officer for yeah. Cisco. It's a program that we're building to bring together a number of, I'd say, functionalities yeah. to ensure that we're bringing the full power of our resources, our, our people, our dollars, our influence to make maximum positive impact in communities around the globe. So when you think about partnerships and you look at this long experience that you have, and now you're here at Cisco looking at that, um, how, do you, how do you think about partnerships and how do you think about working through NetHope to achieve some yeah, of those So goals? I think about our purpose. Our purpose as a company is to power an inclusive future for all. You know, we've long run this good right. business that allows us to do good in the world. And it's mostly around what we do best. We're largely around networking, around connectivity, around observability, around security. And we want to take those, those tools to positively impact communities around the globe. And we know we can't do that alone. We rely heavily on partners. And the approach we take is partners with whom we could work, like NetHope and the NetHope Network, right. to provide technology to support the mission, the work that they're doing, and rely on them to help with our mission to power that inclusive future, to make positive impacts in communities around the globe. And so NetHope's uniquely positioned to be able to help extend that range for us. And so we're That's proud great. of the long, the long partnership. That's great. Well, when you when you zoom out a little bit and you think about the role of the whole private sector, right? Sure. That companies uh, around the world, and you think about um, what's what's the role of the private sector writ large in yeah. helping uh, achieve the goals and uh, advance the missions of the humanitarian yeah. sector, the conservation sector, the development sector. I, I think it's probably more important now than ever before, as we see governmental agencies pulling back on a lot of the funding. For, for critical human needs, for the NGO community around the world, at a time, by the way, where the needs are great and increasing all the time. Yeah. I think uh, the private sector has a, a role to play in providing with their technology, their services, their support, volunteer hours of their team members to kind of advance those missions. And those partnerships, like the partnerships with NetHope are, are critical in allowing us to do that. That's great. And this is your first summit, right? This is my first summit, and it's yeah. been absolutely amazing. So it's been a bit overwhelming with all the content. I tell you, it felt like uh, I was watching a high school reunion the first evening when all the teams were getting together. I know we had hundreds of people coming in from around the globe, right. and you could tell kind of the depths of the relationships of the individuals that are doing the good work from the, yeah. the various agencies that are represented. But also you could see in the breakout sessions and the plenary sessions, this is a high level of trust in the community, and NetHope is an organization, but also the community. I think there's a major role that NetHope plays as a convener of this tight-knit community. I'll definitely be back in the future. Well, that's great. Well, we are privileged at the center of this high trust community that works around the world. Sure. And uh, so we're delighted to welcome you to it. It's Thank been a great so honor. Much. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank I appreciate you. you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.